Hello! Welcome to today's video, Long Time No See. <laughs> yeah, I've been, um, I've been very busy. We, we had a kid, we bought a house, um, all sorts of stuff. I moved to this new neighborhood and then was like, yeah, I'm going to go and check out the local wargaming scene. And then coronavirus hit. Yay! <laughs> so, no doubt you're in a similar situation where you would like to play with yourself and are looking for ways to do that more effectively. Ha ha, play with yourself. There you go. So, welcome to the video. Uh, this is basically a guide to do that for role playing, for some miniature war games. Um, I've been doing some of this, playing around with this idea for a while, and then coronavirus has really um, <clears throat> made it so that it's become a priority. I've thrown together a website. Um, it's literally just thrown together. Look, isn't it pretty? Look, I made buttons and everything. Uh, rjadesrangers.weebly.com um, And I'm going to put some stuff up here so people can check it out. I'm going to try to do some videos. Um, obviously, I'm very long-winded. So if I do do that, I'll separate them into like smaller ones for the, you know, easy to use. Uh, important stuff, and then longer ones I'll put in battle reports and things. But I just wanted to show you this website super quick. <clears throat> uh, the most valuable thing for you is probably going to be scenarios. I've thrown together some scenarios. If my internet, wow, did you see that load of that graphic? It's like being on dial-up again. Woo! Isn't the NBN fun? Um, anyway, I've got these scenarios in mind. <clears throat> I'm halfway through writing them. Um, and you can just see, pick, pick a scenario. It'll uh, give you basically how to set up a little solo game. <clears throat> Some of them you can only really play as in like one side. Others you can kind of flip it. Um, you know, gives you little special rules for that scenario. How to set things up. What the table will look like. Um, in this case, you know, terrain doesn't really matter too much. You just put in stuff wherever. It'll explain basically how to do all of that. We'll jump to the other scenario I've got actually finished. Um, you know... I've got some for like 40k, some for battle tech, stuff like that. Again, you know, terrain doesn't really matter. Some of the other ones, terrain does matter, but there you go. Just thought I would, uh, you know, and I've given suggestions, but you can, you can do whatever the heck you want, you know. You're an adult, you know how to play with yourself most effectively. Um, yeah, on, on this one, I haven't done anything yet, but eventually I'll do some battle reports and stuff, and that way there's a bit of content so that, you know, it's not, you know, boring up here but <clears throat> today i wanted to talk to you about this so let's say you are wanting to um you know do role play or you're wanting to um you know play 40k or battle tech i've got some got some solutions here um i've also got some sort of resources as i make them i'll put them up here for you to for you to download um so this is you know some converting battle tech to a system that is a bit more ai friendly um, but yeah, today I was just going to talk a little bit about these. <clears throat> um, yeah. Um, first off, I think I'll do the Dungeons and Dragons one because it's super fast uh, to, to plow through. Uh, if you want to roleplay solo, um, there's a couple ways that you can do it. The 2 Hour Dungeons by 2 Hour Games. A lot of my stuff is by 2 Hour Games because uh, they're, pretty, they're pretty okay. They all use the same system too, so if you learn one, then you can use it for all the others like if you learned the the system for two hour dungeon crawl you'd then be able to use it for star army for 40k or um no quarter for battle tech or whatever like it's it's all very similar system or even like uh solo historical stuff but yeah so um <clears throat> this is a pdf i mean nine dollars isn't a terrible price to pay that's australian dollars too i think you'll find um am i logged in maybe it's not maybe that's us dollars i don't know anyway it's got everything you need um, to sort of do it. They, they system is um, pretty good because it, it has a um, like a it, it motiv gives you the motivation for why you are going to the dungeon just as much as it is for creating a dungeon. So a lot of the systems that are out there don't have that outside of the dungeon role playing aspect, um, but this system does, which is something that I like. Um, you can also take parts of this system and use it with some of the other things I'm going to show you, which is cool. The other one, <clears throat> if you were lucky enough to be around in 4th Ed, um, a lot of people complained that it was very much like a computer game, blah, blah, blah. Um, and I can certainly see where they're coming from. But what they did have was an awesome 
rule set for a um, board game which could then basically be a dungeon generator. Now, I've used this system with other editions of Dungeons & Dragons. I've also used it with other stuff. You can get the rule book for free uh, from this link here, or you can check out the box. The box looks like this. Um, I have all the whole set. There's like Wrath of a Shardalon and Legends of Drist, and I think there's like a Castle, castle Ravenloft or whatever. And... Um, yeah, the price for this can vary, <clears throat> you know, depending upon what you, um, you know, wh where you're getting it from. Some of you, us already have it. Um, it comes with lots of minis. If you buy the whole thing, you get these dungeon tiles and everything. But here's the thing is you don't need, um, you don't need those dungeon tiles. You can just sort of steal their system for yourself. Um, basically, I'll scroll down here. This is in the rule book. You can see, like, basically each... Uh, dungeon tile in this case is nine by nine sort of squares, um, and each tile. I don't know if you can see the mouse. Hang on, am I recording the mouse? Uh, no. How do I record the mouse? One second. Capture mouse. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You can see the mouse. So you can see each section is like nine by nine. <clears throat> Sorry, three by three. A nine foot. You know, a nine square. Each tile has a little arrow on it. This is like the starting tile, so it does not have an arrow. Um, some arrows are black, some arrows are white. That is relevant to their particular game. Then you've got a little mark on the tile, usually far enough away from a you know corner that it's not going to be a big problem. Basically how it works is you walk to a map edge, and then in that map edge, um, you, know, you explore the next tile, and so you would place... Um, you know, with the arrow pointing to whichever edge you explored off. Uh, and then, yeah, when it comes time to spawn monsters, you spawn a monster on the dot. So you could do that, like, you could make your own system up with that. Uh, very easy. And then they have larger rooms, um, which there isn't a picture of. But basically, it's it's a bigger room, which um, when, when you basically draw the one tile, you then put the rest of the room on with that tile. Um, that can be where your boss fights are. After you defeat a monster, they use cards to generate which monster you get randomly and um, which treasure you get randomly. They also have like traps and uh, events and all sorts of fancy stuff. But you can very much steal their system. You can do all that stuff with, um, uh, you know, like a random table if you don't want to make the cards. I've made the cards in the past and laminated them, made them all pretty. So yeah, and that works with every system. So that, that's Dungeons & Dragons, that's role-playing. Straightforward, very easy. The one that most people care about, 40k. Um, I would highly recommend One Page Rules Grimdark Future, which is this tab here. Um, no, it's not. This is their website. And, you know, you go games, Grimdark Future. You also notice on the games they have, like, um, <clears throat> Age of Fantasy. You know, Age of Sigmar, Rip Off 4. Um, you know, different, you know, uh, kill team and, and sort of, you know what I mean. It's like a knockoff versions of of all that. But one of the great things about their, their, sim their symptom, uh, symptom, their system is super simple. So, um, you know, you've got your AI rules here. Basically, you just pick your, you divide your units into whether they are shooter units, stabby units, or like in the middle. And then it's got like a flow chart. So you can get access to this uh, from... You know my web, my my Weebly here. If you you know are, are too too stressed to remember one page rules, you can just come up here, click that. It'll take you to this page where you can then download the whole rules. Now they actually um, restat everything, but yeah, there's no reason why you can't just keep your stats, keep your game, and just use their AI, which is really what you're after. You know, in these sorts of uh, situations, is realistically you just want the ai system because you're looking for you know who you're gonna fight uh the second one from that is two hour war game star army again 5150 um yeah there's no youtube videos or anything about how to play that and i'm gonna fix that i'm gonna make some up once we once we get to that um but you basically again it's a system you generate your dudes You've got like a main dude and then you've got like the rest of your dudes and then you roll. There's a lot of reactions. Um, Ed has, Ed, the THW guy channel on YouTube has, 
uh, you know, some videos explaining that. Um, there's also like a Wargamer Addict, I think, has a thing with the game Nuts, which uses the same system. Um, not to be confused with uh, Flames of War Nuts, which is different. But anyway, again, uh, $14.99, it can be a bit pricey. But once you get one, you kind of have the system for everything and you can sort of work, work out that out. No quarter um, is the Battletech one. So we've sort of finished with the 40k. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and yeah, that same system has like a mech combat version, which is what I'm using for Battletech at the moment, which I am going to, you know, make some videos on as well. Um, and yeah, you know, it's designed so you start with small battles or you can have massive battles or you can do like whole campaigns. Um, same for... Star Army. You can do a whole campaign with Star Army. It's got rules for that. Rules for morale and things like that. Anyway, I just wanted to make this short video to let you know this resource exists. Come and get it. Um, rjrangers.weebly.com uh, And yeah, come get some of these scenarios too because I've kind of thrown them together. These are my favorite parts. And this is something I like about um, solo wargaming. You get that narrative element that you don't really get when you play other people when you're playing other people it's all about the mechanics um but when you're playing by yourself it's you know you get to build that story and campaigns are really fun because you know you start to um you know see different see different sides of the game that you you didn't have before so there you go that is my that is my little website please check it out please or you know you skip my website and just go to the you know the thing that is going to make you happy um, straight there. So, good luck. Have fun. I hope your games are fun. I'll see you in the next video.